Hello everyone, Lexi here with McWayne Science Center and welcome to Science Sparks. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how light is produced. Now, I'm not talking about light bulbs or fire. I'm talking about something cooler. Now we all know light bulbs get warmer the longer we leave them on, and everyone knows how hot flames are. That's because both light bulbs and flames are good examples of incandescence, which is when something gets so hot it emits light. But how do glow sticks work? To find out, I've opened up a glow stick. Now remember, chemicals are dangerous, so please do not try any of this at home. Just inside our plastic tube is a clear, goopy liquid. Let's pour that into our beaker. But obviously, there was something else in there too. A glass vial full of a colorful liquid. Turns out, when you crack a glow stick, you break this glass vial, allowing the two liquids to mix. So, I'm gonna break it. All glow sticks have two important parts, hydrogen peroxide and something called oxalate ester. Now the moment these two liquids meet, we get a reaction that produces light. This is called chemiluminescence, the chemical reaction that produces light with little to no heat. Combining hydrogen peroxide and the oxalate ester triggers a series of chemical reactions until eventually we have something called a cyclic peroxy compound. This compound decomposes, breaking apart and giving us carbon dioxide and sending the atoms of our solution to a higher energy level. In order for those atoms to return to their natural energy level, that excess energy has to be released. In this case, it's released in the form of light. Now, chemiluminescence doesn't just happen in the lab, it happens in nature as well. Fireflies, jellyfish, fungus, worms, all of these organisms use chemiluminescence to glow, and that is called bioluminescence. So the next time you're out on a warm summer night catching lightning bugs, you have chemiluminescence to thank. Thank you for watching this week's episode of SciSpark. To catch new episodes as soon as they're released, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out mcwayne.org. Until next time.